Hello you lovely people, how are you all doing this beautiful day? I am Ishna and I welcome you back to my channel. From the title you are aware that this is going to be another fragrance review and I am going to review two fragrances, the two body mists, one from Dear Body, another one from Body Fantasies. I have shown another one from Body Fantasies. I have shown these two fragrances in some Amazon haul. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I'll link up the whole um, entire playlist out here so you can check it out. Um, if not here, it will be there in the description box or uh, maybe later on in the video you will be able to check it out. Uh, what was my initial thoughts and what is the final review you can compare. So we will be covering every bits of these two fragrances right here in detail like I do in every fragrance review video. But before we get started, please spare a moment to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell icon next to it so that you are notified for every videos that come your way from my side. Now without making the intro any more long, then let's get started. Okay, before I dive into these two fragrances, I'll quickly cover what's on my lips today. I'm wearing the Sugar's Crayon Lipstick Matte as Hell Crayon in the shade Scarlet O'Hara. And uh, that is pretty much what's on my lips today. It's a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful shade of red. It will complement every skin tone. Extremely love with this one and specifically that this is a mini. I can surely think to have at least... Uh, use it up. Using up a full size uh, lipstick is always difficult. Using up minis are better. So yeah, and with the lips covered, let's dive into these two beauties right here. Now when I say beauties, you are already aware that I am already in love with these two. Let's quickly cover this one first. And this is from Body Fantasies and this is in the variant Wedding. Uh, I saw a lot of fragrances from Body Fantasies in the um, Amazon's page. I want to try out more as well. I um, would like to talk about it later on but let me first quickly cover this. Just look at the beautiful packaging. It's white, transparent bottle and uh, the liquid is also transparent. Just like any other body mist, it's in plastic, so is the lid. So nothing fancy, nothing exceptional here. This is in the wedding variant and uh, of course I know why they have called it wedding and kept it all white because uh, this uh, was I think uh, kept designed keeping um, Christian weddings or weddings that happen abroad where mostly it is the bride in white dress, beautiful white dress and that is why this is a wedding fragrance probably that is how they marketed it because name also is wedding fragrance. Let's spritz it out and then I'll talk a bit more about this. It sprays beautifully. It smells divine. I love it. I, I, I simply love it. And the best part, it now my entire area smells like this. So I don't have to take my nose close to it to tell you actually how I feel about this. This is good. This projects. This is nice. Let's cover the notes here. For the top you get apple blossom, raspberry and clementine which kicks off the fruity, uh, juicy bit of this fragrance right at the start. Then it moves on to a beautiful floral heart where you get peony, freesia and rose. With this delicate uh, floral heart, it almost uh, moves on to become a very delicate feminine kind of a um, elegant kind of a fragrance. The floral is so beautifully, so mellowed down and lovely way it's done. And then finally at the base you get musk, amber and sandalwood. The musk here is creamy. It's not a dry musk. Uh, it's more of the creamy variant. That's why it lends on to the frothy bit of this fragrance. It feels like a gourmandish fragrance, a fruity, juicy, floral, amazing scent right here. It's sweet as well because the apple blossom in here, the uh, raspberry, it makes you feel like you're biting into a big juicy fruit and the floral and the base. All are so beautifully blended together. I don't see anywhere which this scent uh, has gone wrong or anything. It's a beautiful, wholesome fragrance. 
The only drawback is because it's a mist, it doesn't last much. I mean, this is done well, this is done good, but not for Indian weddings, if you understand what that means. Because um, most uh, weddings, uh, I think this has been kept, like I said, kept. Uh, this has been designed keeping a uh, western uh, wedding or christian wedding in mind which where the theme is mostly of class elegance subtle so that's why it will be the perfect wedding day fragrance for anybody who wants to have that kind of wedding but when it comes to our traditional uh, indian band baja barat wala wedding i don't see this to be wedding day's fragrance i i when i had my wedding I wore Elizabeth Arden's pretty because I knew that will more or less last me throughout the evening. This will not do that. That is sadly the part. Then again, this is not a perfume. This is a body mist that you are looking at. So you are not expecting uh, an EDP like performance out of this. But keeping that in mind, as a body mist, this performs pretty well. After two hours, you have to reapply this on yourself. But the two hours that it is there on your skin, and your clothes, you will smell wonderful. People around you will smell this as well. It's a beauty, it's a gem of a fragrance. It's just that it lacks from the longevity part. Body mist, keep that in mind. When I say longevity part, it lacks, it doesn't perform like an EDB as I would have expected. As a body mist, it performs just the way a body mist is supposed to perform. So not no complaints on those crumbs. It projects because when you spritz it and you enter the room, people will notice it's that kind of fragrance. But if you have spritzed it an hour before, if you enter, that projection will not be there. So, so people around you will not be smelling this. But if you reapply before you enter a room, definitely people will be able to smell this on you. Of course, it's a feminine scent. Uh, men will like it. But um, I'm not sure if they will love to wear it because this is very feminine, classy, elegant kind of a scent. I am not a person who wants to put stamp on fragrances. So please, if you're a man and you want to try this, go ahead. Don't let my review stop you from doing that because I don't believe in these things. If you like a scent, I believe you should go ahead and apply it. I'm saying I don't see men leaning towards this kind of fragrance because it's too fruity, too floral and too feminine to, for their liking. If anybody likes that, being a man, great. Try this. It's a beautiful fragrance. Then about the season, I see you can wear it any time of the day, any time of the year. It says wedding day and it's a day fragrance. You can't wear it during uh, evenings. You won't get the uh, justice out of this fragrance or uh, this fragrance won't support uh, the need maybe of a closed door event where you're dancing and uh, or you're having fun with friends. But it will work as a great date night scent. If you're out with your date for a movie or for a dinner, this will be a beautiful fragrance that you wear. And that is for, that is something I'm going to recommend you to try this one as well for it smells delightful it's beautiful you need to try this out as well because it's quite easy on the pocket as well you're looking at 236 ml of product right here and this one retails for rupees 499 but i'm sure you will get tons of discount on this one so you will not be paying 499 something around 300 or something which if you think is too much for a body mist then consider the quantity you're getting you will get a wear time for quite a long time I've already started using this just to get it. So I love this. I have tested it and I can't wait to try my hands on other variants from Body Fantasies. I'm pretty much impressed how I love a body mist. Moving on to the other one, which is from Dear Body. Now, this one is from the packaging itself. It's a dupe of uh, Victoria's Secret's body mist. The only flaw is in a design that the lid doesn't fit here as uh, very well. I will leave a in short clipping right here so that you can see. I have shot it separately so that you can see what I'm saying. So it doesn't uh, uh, fit properly like uh, the Victoria's Secret's one would do, but that's okay given the price point and everything. This is the variant that I have with me. It's a sparkling crystal variant, sparkling crystal. And uh, you have the dear body uh, written 
on top of the lid as well and when I take it out this is how the atomizer looks like it's golden in color I love the fact that they have a uh, theme of this sparkling crystal going on but that they have the sticker uh, here on the back which is plain with some information on about the fragrance right here so the print of the sticker is on this side so it's pasted on the back side of the fragrance so that you, when you see it from the front you see the beautiful design that it has it's quite thoughtful quite nicely done and despite being a dupe from the uh, packaging perspective um, I'm okay with it. This is also a London based brand that I researched and I found out even here it's written that it's from uh, Chancery Lane, London, UK. So that's pretty much it for this. Okay, let's now spray this and find out. It sprays beautifully. <laughs> it's a very, very um, pretty sweet and kind of a bubbly um, if I say juvenile fragrance because as a teenager I would love this I love this I love this at, at my age as well I'm in my 30s I love it as well but it can turn out to be a bit juvenile for people so if you're a very serious person a mature person supremely not interested in very uh, um, inexpensive regular kind of fragrance this will not be your pick but if you are a very happy go lucky sweet sort of a person despite being not in your teens you will be enjoying this this is quite like I said, so this is basically in a nutshell a very happy scent I didn't see any notes anywhere online when I was uh, researching so what I can make out is there are tons of berries in this fragrance a uh, lots of juicy elements so maybe Apple is also here. A bit of uh, gourmandish element is there. So, thinking vanilla might be there, and that's pretty much it for this fragrance. I don't see elements of floral parts here. I see only fruity, juicy, sweet, and that is the DNA of this. Uh, and that is the DNA of this mist completely. It is a very light, very airy sort of a fragrance which you wear out for uh, a quick hangout with friends, uh, outing for a day. Um, it's good. Best part in this price point, okay, by the way, what's the price point? You get 250 ml of product, which retails for rupees 385. So anyways, a decent price point. And of course, you will get discounts as well online on Amazon. Now, considering this to be the price point, it plays out wonderfully. It lasts pretty long for a body mist. Like, I can, I, I, when I tested this fragrance out twice, first time it lasted on my skin for a straight three hours and then second time uh, it lasted on my skin for four hours. It's a beautiful fragrance. It is very happy, a champagne, bubbly, fruity, juicy, um, everything mixed together. It's a very happy, delicious smelling fragrance. Yeah, it is a delicious smelling fragrance. That's, that is something that I can definitely see. And despite being dupe, it's found that it's available at a very affordable price. So you can definitely try this out. Will I recommend this one or this one? I will recommend both. Why? Because this might be available and acceptable by people uh, till a certain age. Like uh, people in their teens to people in 20s, 30s maybe 40s i'm not sure but beyond that i don't see people wearing this this is kind of a very sweet bubbly but but somewhat juvenile fragrance on the other hand this one is kind of a nice fragrance all age groups will enjoy people in their teens they will be enjoying it as well i uh, this fragrance actually reminds me of a perfume from um, that I used to uh, purchase in my school days or uh, uh, late school days, early college days, something around that time. It was called Rian uh, Rani perfume. It used to have an immense uh, power, longevity on my skin. Like it lasted and performed like a beast, and for seven to eight hours on my skin. This one sadly doesn't, but it smells on that line. So it's kind of nostalgic, but then 
it kind of tells me that when I was in my teens, I enjoyed it, and I am here at my in my thirties, I am enjoying this as well. So this is something that every age group will love, and and I can see even women of fifties, sixties reaching out for this, which is not the case for this. So I would recommend it both of them, but this one slightly more from all age acceptability. And if you are looking for longevity at an affordable price and fruity, fruity stuffs. Basically, then this is your pick. So these are pretty much it for these two fragrances. You can wear this any time of the year, any time of the day. I don't specify specifically time or event associated with this. But yeah, this one is for uh, basic specific occasions, not your everyday wear. You can wear it, but I would say don't. Spare it for your date night, your invitations to specific events and all. And this can be a hangout uh, fragrance as well, which you just shower on yourself uh, um, when you're going out doing errands as well. This will be a good uh, body mist to serve that purpose. But uh, the best part here is it's strong, it's juicy and sweet. So if you're not into that, please don't purchase it because. Uh, if you overspray this, this will be too much for you, which is not the case for this one. You can overspray and overspray, this will not give you headaches. So it fits those bills as well that it will be inoffensive. This will be inoffensive, but it will be overwhelming, if I may say. So this, if you overspray this one, this will be a bit overwhelming. If you overspray this one, nothing. It's going to be just the beautiful fragrance emanating out of you time and again. So it's, it's beautiful. I love both of these. And I'm extremely happy that I tried both of these. I will be trying Dear Body fragrances as well if I think, but not right now. So if you want to request anything that I need to pick up from Body Fantasies or Dear Body, please mention it in the comment section. But the reviews will not come or haul for these will not come soon. Even if hauls come, reviews will not come soon because I want to now use up some of my fragrance before I... Uh, take on body mist because body mists are 236 ml mostly or 250 ml they take time to complete which is good value for money for everybody as a genuine as a general consumer but it is difficult if my cabinet is not free then I can't purchase more and share reviews so other variants from these lines reviews won't come soon just a disclaimer hope you understand so yes, with that we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful and enjoyable to watch. If it was, then don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends and comment in the comment section uh, if you uh, think that my review was in line with your experience of uh, body fantasies and uh, dear body, body miss. If it was, great. If not, if your experience was something different, let me know then we can have a nice space for that sort of a conversation as well. And I will leave the uh, product links for these two in the description box below just in case you want to check out. My description box below will also have my details of social media. Uh, if you want to uh, connect with me over Instagram or uh, Facebook, then all the links are just there. You might want to check it out. I feel great if somebody reaches out to me asking for fragrance recommendations or any ways to chat online as well. That is also fine. I enjoy doing that. And if you have stuck around till this end and you're looking at this video till this point, then thank you so much. It means hopefully you're enjoying this content. If yes, then what are you waiting for? Don't leave this video without subscribing to this channel because whenever I upload a video, you need to get notified of it. And to do that, you also need to ring the bell icon next to the subscribe button. So make sure you do these things. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.